Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Features and today I'm going to highlight one of our newer itineraries, the best of Holland and Belgium. Seven night cruise round trip from Amsterdam with prepackage also available in the city of Amsterdam. So let me tell you the Alma Waterways difference. Alma Waterways is a five star luxury inclusive river cruise brand. We feature three levels of accommodation, including our signature twin balcony suites, multiple restaurants on board our ships, all of which are included unlimited beer, wine, and soft drinks with all of your meals, plus the included sip and sail program in the late afternoon. All of your tours are included. And in the bigger cities and towns, we give you a choice of activities. You decide what it is you would like to see and do. That's all part of the included Alma Waterways experience. We have no optional excursions. We have nightly entertainment every evening when we are sailing. We've got our rooftop heated pool. And of course, the revolutionary My Alma Cruise app for you to use both before during and after your river cruise experience. Now, this is just a map of everywhere that we cruise, but today's feature is on the best of Holland and Belgium. And this cruise launched in 2021, and it's a year round river cruise to explore the stunning countries of Holland and, the, uh, and uh, Belgium. Now, normally, traditionally, we've always had our tulip time cruise, which is great in the springtime, but we've had guests saying, why don't you cruise in these beautiful areas throughout the entire year? So in 2021, we brought out this beautiful cruise, but it's different to our tulip time itinerary. It goes down a number of rivers, takes you to a number of towns that you don't normally see. So, like I said, this is a seven night round trip cruise from Amsterdam to Amsterdam. And yes, there is an opportunity, if you'd like to see a bit more of Amsterdam, to do a two night pre package in a five star centrally accredited hotel, escorted by the same cruise manager that you will be sailing with. Different sightseeing tours are included to what you will get when you're on board the cruise along with daily breakfast. Now, if you elect just to do the cruise, that is not a problem. You still fly into Amsterdam, you embark on the ship and you will overnight in Amsterdam on the ship as well. So you've still got time to explore the city on your own in the evening. The next day is when we have a couple of different tours, but the one I recommend is to do the canal cruise around Amsterdam. This is a city built on hundreds of canals and it truly is the best way to see the beautiful city. Now we do a late afternoon sail out of Amsterdam. It's one of the largest ports in all of Europe. So it's a spectacular sight for you to see. And it's an overnight sail folks. And we are going to be ending up into the city of Utrecht. And this is a unique stop that we've developed on this cruise because when you're in Utrecht, you've got a number of different tours. You can go off to a museum. You can go off and do a guided cycling tour. But this is the one to see, Castle de Har. It's one of the most beautiful castles in all of Europe. It really is exactly like you would see in the fairy tales. So folks, it's an overnight sail, and the next day we're ending up in to a town called Helvoetsluis. Um, now, this is because, remember, the Netherlands, over 65 to 70% of this country is below sea level. So the Dutch are engineering marvels and created the dikes and the Delta areas in order to reclaim land and, in, and expand the Netherlands. So today is spent to go off and cruise by the Delta works to see these incredible engineering marvels and such. Uh, of course, you can do a walking tour into the area, a guided cycling tour into the area as well, but this is what this area is truly known for. Now it's an overnight sail and you're ending up the next day into Ghent, Belgium. This is when we're dipping down into this beautiful country and there's an opportunity to either do a sightseeing tour of Ghent or go up to Bruges, considered the Venice of the North. Overnight sail, we're ending up in the capital of Belgium the next day, which is Brussels. Again, you can do a sightseeing tour. You can do a tastings tour, which highlights the stunning chocolates that come out of this country. Or of course, you can go off to the Gaspeak, um, the Gaspeak Castle tour as well. So folks, it's an overnight sail. The next day, we're ending up in Antwerp, Belgium. This is known as the city of diamonds because there's more diamonds produced in this city than anywhere else in the Northern Hemisphere. So you can do a sightseeing tour. You can do a biking tour. You can do a Belgian beer tour or even do a tastings tour in Antwerp as well. So all sorts of great tours for you to choose from. The next day, we're cruising back into the Netherlands and you're going to be stopped in Dordrecht. This is Holland's oldest city. You've got a chance to do either a sightseeing tour uh, a hiking tour or a biking tour. And in the afternoon, we're going to end up in Kinderdijk. This is a world UNESCO listed heritage site with the biggest concentration of windmills anywhere in the world. So folks, overnight sail, and the next day you're ending up into Amsterdam, and this is where you will disembark. 
Folks, to get on the beautiful Best of Holland and Belgium cruise, please get in touch with your preferred travel advisor. They can tell you all the available dates along with the best prices and promotions. Folks, we look forward to seeing you on board.